Hey guys, so here I have my uh, Artist Guitars Dominus 8 string. Uh, it's a bass wood body, bass wood body, whatever you want to call it. Um, with a eco rosewood neck, which is it's a maple neck with eco rosewood fretboard, sorry. Um, it's got some sort of shiny painty lacquer on it, for, for lack of better terms. Um, and you know what? It's for 300 bucks. Uh, it's a great guitar. Uh, the, there is so much you can do with this guitar that if, if you want to put some money into it, that I think you will be getting yourself a nice, almost custom A string. Uh, for example, always good to sand back the neck. Ignore the stickers of the Dalmatian. This guitar is, uh, my Dalmatian. See what I did there? Um, sanding back the neck a little bit, uh, is really good for any guitar, um, so I've done that. Um, tuners are pretty good, maybe put locking in if you want, but it holds tune really well. Uh, other than that, a, a generic setup, it's a little bit of bow there at the moment, but um, generic setup will do really well. And if you want to go all out, obviously replace the, the, the generic pots, uh, the three-way toggle, and add some shielding paint. But other than that, this thing's great. And Artist Guitars, I'm not endorsed by them in any way, but I'm a big fan of them because as an Australian company who builds and imports Chinese guitars, they are uh, very accommodating. If you, if you buy the guitar and you don't like it, you send it back and just say, wasn't a fan. I'm going to go for an Ibanez or whatever, Schecter or something like that. You're going to get a slightly better guitar that will, you know, you're going to pay, pay for it. But this is a great guitar. Um... First thing that basically anyone who owns one of these will tell you is get rid of the strings that are on it. They're, you know, generic, crappy, you know, really uh, just, they, they don't complement the, the guitar at all. Once you put, I put some Dodarios on this, but uh, Ernie Ball Slinkies, things like that. I've stayed with the same gauge. I'm going to go up. Uh, I believe it's 74 to 10 it came with. I've gone with 74 tens on it, but uh, I'm going to set it up soon. And uh, I'm going to replace them with uh, some better strings, some higher gauge strings, keep it a bit thicker. But other than that, let, let's, I, I'm, I'm running uh, just directly into the computer with, uh, I'm running Overloud THU with a Tube 9 and a Heavy 51 lead amp. Uh, just to give you a brief idea, it's not direct input, forgive me for that. Neck pickup. Yeah, uh, in between. Back to bridge. So yeah, it's it's a great, um, great sounding guitar. I'm gonna change the pickups to. There's some cheap Chinese invaders out there um, that you'll find on eBay. Invader copies, obviously. They're about 20 to 30 Australian dollars. And uh, you know what? That is that I'm going to try them out, see what they're like, and I'll, I'll put up a link once I do that. I'll replace the pots. I'll replace everything. I'll try and make this a really decent 8-string guitar. But for someone like me who doesn't predominantly play uh, the heavy heavy tracks, and, and I don't really play the whole Genty stuff, so... The, the for someone like me, this is a great start. This is a beginner eight string guitar. Uh, maybe from here you'll go. You know what? I really want to focus on eight string, and I'm gonna go all out and use that from now on. But uh, one thing I did do was I added a treble bleed mod. Uh, basic reason is you get a much better slide. Almost like you can up up the game, which is what, what Treble Bleed's great for anyway. For you know, for like a dollar of a mod, it's it's a great idea. Um, so yeah, basically, there's a couple of things I don't like about the guitar. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I 
think the neck is kind of uh, the fretboard with with its original uh, shiny uh, lacquer that they've put on it. It's almost like a, a stain. It does for the first little while come across as really cheap, uh, a bit like if you were to buy a, a really really basic uh, Chinese guitar from eBay uh, where you, you think it's ebony, but they've just gone and put like black paint over pine. Uh, but that's easily solved. Uh, just keep moisturizing it with uh, just any fretboard uh, fretboard conditioner or um, mineral oil from IKEA called Skid. That's always good. Um, and you know that that way you get a really nice uh, get a really nice fretboard over. Once you buff it back a bit, I mean you may want to go all out on the frets. The frets are a little bit sharp uh, at times, but again, if you especially on the edges here. Um, but if you're going to put in the effort to, or even take it to someone to have it set up and fret dress that, you know, you, you're going to be quids in, um, the nuts great. Uh, it's, it's just a plastic nut, but, uh, with a bit of filing, you'll actually get a really, and you'll have to, if you, if you, uh, up the gauge, like I'm going to do anyway, but the very, very basic little bit of filing, even with just the, the string itself, loosen the string and just uh, just to get it to sit a little bit better, so yeah, it goes whatever. You you probably yeah, you'll figure that one out. Uh, the the paint is a gloss black, uh, basic, you know, basic paintwork, nothing too special. Uh, the cavity controls control cavity, sorry, that really does need uh, some sort of shielding because. If I just put it, you'll hear that really slight humming, and when you let go, you'll get a little bit of ground issue. Uh, easily solved with copper tape or paint if you want, if you want to use shielding paint. But seriously, this is a great guitar. Uh, I, I, I love it. I think it would be... It's something great for starting out. I went straight to the eight string just purely because seven string. I was like, well, if I don't like the eight string, I like the seven. I like the eight string, so transitioning to the seven string would be great. Uh, would be really easy. But yeah, sorry for the unprofessionalism of this review. I just thought, you know what? I'll just show it. Um, and it's a good guitar for $300 roughly. Uh, that includes shipping in Australia. You can't really go wrong. Um, and like artist guitars are really chill with, if you just decide you don't want it or there are any issues with it, if you find that it's, it needs one hell of a setup, uh, there's a couple of, there is a review on, um, artist guitars that says that it was way out and the fret action was really high and just, you know, it was then send it back and say, look, I'm not really happy with the setup on this. And they're, they're pretty good with, with things like that. Um, so yeah, it, it's a good guitar. It's, it's a it's a gam. It's not even a gamble at three hundred dollars. It's a it's a gamer. It's just go for it. So yeah, uh, one more little bit of. and simple glossy it's black i put a sticker on it you can put a sticker on yours too that is the artist eight string guitar and uh enjoy it